wanted to come back to you guys with an update. So this is how I've been keeping track of my ovulation. Um, there's a pretty bad glare there, but so I have this journal that's really cute. Um, and it basically, uh, I started it yeah, uh, last, last month in July, but all I did was just a pregnancy test and it was negative, obviously. But, so, this is the first month that I've tried these um, OPKs and I bought these on Amazon. So we are in the month of August 2019 and so over on the left hand corner where it says CD1, so that basically just means cycle day one. So. Cycle day one is the first day of your period. And um, my period lasted five days. So it ended on the 5th. Started on August the 2nd. We baby danced. Um, if you don't know what baby dance means, it pretty much means that we had sex unprotected. Um, so that's the definition of baby danced. We baby danced on the sixth cycle day six, again on cycle day seven. I didn't start doing the um, OPKs, so the ovulation tests, until the um, until cycle day seven. But I did have my uh, HSG test on cycle day seven. So this looks a little screwy because I kind of messed it up a little bit. But anyway, on cycle day seven. I took my first OPK and you can see that there's sort of a line there, but it's really faint. And um, that was done in the e evening, afternoon time PM on cycle day seven. On cycle day eight, I didn't get a chance to do one in the morning, but I did one in the afternoon. It was 3.30 PM whenever I did it and there's hardly nothing there. Um, we baby danced twice on cycle day eight. Cycle day nine, I took my OPK at 10.24 a.m. And you actually see a line there, which is kind of strange. Um, I know that this, this is the, this darker line is the control line. And this is the test line. So this line needs to be as dark or darker as the control line in order for you to know that you are about to ovulate. So it basically detects the LH hormone, which tells you that you should ovulate within the next, um, I believe it's 12 to 48 hours or something like that. So anyway, on cycle day nine, I took it at 10.24 a.m. And then I did it again at 6.22 p.m. Can't barely see it there, but it was about the same color in the morning as it was in the afternoon on cycle day nine. Cycle day 10, which is today, I did an OPK at 10.20 a.m. And you see a line there, obviously. And then I did it again at 7 p.m., which is just a few minutes ago. So that's where we are with the, um, the OPKs. I um, have not baby danced today, but my period um, tracker calendar that I have says that my fertile days will be on... Um, cycle day 12, um, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, I'm pretty sure. So these lines, these test lines will probably get darker between then and, um, between, t well, maybe not tomorrow, but cycle day 12 and, uh, 
maybe 16, somewhere in between there, I should have my LH spike. So my peak. Uh, that's pretty much just what I wanted to talk to you guys about was how I've been tracking my, um, my ovulation up until now. So uh, this is the first time I am using these little test strips. Um, I have used the clear blue digitals, but those are really expensive and I just didn't want to spend that much money. So I decided to use the cheapies and the box was only, uh, it was a box and it came with like 30 of the LP, the OPKs, the ovulation chests. And it came to 20 pregnancy tests for like, I think 15 bucks. This was really cheap. And I read a lot of the reviews and they did, um, they did state that they were, um, a lot of people stated that they were the best to use. So we shall see. Hopefully, um, maybe we'll get pregnant this month. I don't know. We do know that my uh, my tubes are clear, and um, so maybe something will happen this month. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update on how I've been tracking ovulation this month, and I will update you guys um, probably in my two-week wait to let you guys know if we fall pregnant. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Like and subscribe this video. Thanks.